Go for it. Alright. Alright, so hi everybody. Uh, so I'm Cedric Honet. My name is not here, but we see that there is. So as um, Luther was saying, I basically worked on miniaturizing this thing. Um, well, you saw the picture here. I also have it somewhere here. Uh, basically, it's a wearable for rats. I'm making it short, but uh, the idea is to track 3D position of things, rats, for example, but not just. Um, and we have a submillimetric angles. So maybe the simplest is to start with visualization of thing. Of the thing. I only have five minutes, so I'm going to go super fast. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, the video doesn't work, so I'll show you later. I don't know. Um, basically, the, the system can be put in a 3D printed object, uh, and it allows uh, reconstructing a, um, a position and calibrating the, the position of the of the basis. So the way the system works is that we have, oops, the effect. Okay. So Cedric was pointing at the ceiling. Yeah. You so if more? you see at the ceiling. Uh, you have those boxes that have uh, basically the same as these guys. Uh, they have lasers that scan the room, and with those signals, um, I'm going to show that quickly, you can actually estimate your position using special timings. So if there's one thing that you have to remember of what I'm going to show you is the, the simplicity, but the, the accuracy of what you can get out of just these simple lasers that are scanning the room. So what happens is that there is a flash and then a scan. So you measure the time between the flash and the scan, and it tells you where you are according to, let's say, a virtual zero degree north. So let's say, imagine uh, here is zero degree north, and I'm going to scan, but before I send a flash to everyone, and you all start counting. Zero, one, two, three. You have 30 degrees, for example, because I don't know, three microseconds, and then four and five and so on. So Using the time, because we know of the speed of the rotation, using this time, you can estimate your position in 3D. So how does it work? You have a horizontal and a vertical um, scan that tell you it, it will give you two angles, and they point at you in 3D. But you have two bases. So here you see the two. And if you have one vector that points at you with one of the bases, and another one that does the same with the other, you are hopefully at the intersection, and you can estimate your position. Um, there's many other ways to do it. They are either not as accurate, they drift, whatever, they're way too expensive. Um, we want to do a tracking of tiny things and a lot of them, and this is not possible with this kind of optical uh, system, or it's very expensive. Um, I'm going to skip a few things, not timing. Uh, the normal approach is to use FPGAs. Uh, I know some of you guys like to play with them. <coughs> I found this trick that can be interesting for some of you. Um, basically, this microcontroller that I use, it's a, it's a Bluetooth low energy chip that has um, Cortex M4 and a few other peripherals. And this, this is a very cool trick called PPI for um, programmable peripheral interface. And basically, it's something in the middle between an FPGA and a DMA that allows um, Basically, in parallel, in hardware, doing timestamps of those photodiode uh, signals that we get from those scans. Um, I can explain a bit more later if you're interested. Uh, I won't go too much more into the, the detail because I have only one minute. Uh, I basically did a, a characterization of the system uh, using CNC and, um, and this uh, tracker. And there's this thing that is interesting that no one really talked about earlier, uh, which is that the way the system is designed, um, it has this um, distortion that basically 30 centimeter when you're two meters away from the base is about half when you're four meters away. So if you have a, a distortion matrix, you can reconstruct your position. Um, and I'm still working on things to improve the, the positioning, but basically for now, we have something between 0. 5 and 0 0.9 millimeter accuracy. So it's still reasonable uh, for what you want to do. 
Um, there's many steps that we still need to work on. If any of you is interested in playing with uh, JavaScript for 3D uh, visualization in uh, VR and AR, uh, please come talk to me. Um, I'm going to just skip that. And basically, these slides are on that URL. Uh, if you want to contact me, ask me questions, this is the three first letters of my first name and last name, Cedric Bonnet. Take pictures. Anyway, the awesome guys and ladies, they record all of it so you can find that later. Uh, that's all for my five minutes. <laughs> that was damn quick. <laughs>